training. For years, award-winning anchor Lisa LaFlemme was the face of Canada's most-watched nightly news show, until suddenly announcing on social media that she'd been let go. I was blindsided and I'm still shocked and saddened by Bell Media's decision. The 35-year veteran journalist's shocking announcement was swiftly followed by a Globe and Mail report that a news executive had questioned her decision to let her hair go gray, triggering a public outcry on social media with some accusing network executives of sexism and ageism. I'm a 62-year-old woman, gray hair. And this is what it looks like. This is what women deal with on a daily basis. We are scrutinized in our jobs simply for the way we look. Bell Media, which owns the network, is pushing back. The CEO releasing a statement saying the narrative has been that Lisa's age, gender or gray hair played into the decision. I am satisfied that is not the case. Outrage at Laflemme's firing fueling the hashtag keep the gray with women posting photos of their own personal stories. Corporations also throwing their support behind Laflemme with beauty brand Dove tweeting age is beautiful. Women should be able to do it on their own terms without any consequences and fast food chain Wendy's changing their iconic logos hair from red to gray. Hollywood also signaling a shift with top actresses sporting gray hair on the red carpet and on screen. No, color your hair. I just think the gray ages you. No, you think the gray ages you. Because if we're friends and I'm this age, you can't be whatever age you're pretending to be. Podcaster Lisa Lacroix says when she decided to go gray, she was celebrated, but says La Flemme's firing is a wake up call. In some ways, I think this is a great thing that this happened because it raised our awareness. There is a silver lining here. I think there is a silver lining that we as women have to stick together. Bell Media has announced an independent third-party review of the CTV newsroom in a statement the president saying they take matters regarding any discrimination very seriously and are committed to a safe, inclusive, and respectful work environment for all our employees. Guys. Aaron, thank you. It's a hot topic. I yeah. think it's grabbing attention because so many women are saying enough is enough. Men go gray all the time, you know, and not just on TV. The double um, standard has, but, has long yeah. existed. Yeah, and so I think women have had, uh, have had enough. And you know? it's so true during the pandemic. My sister-in-law did it. Everybody stopped yeah. dyeing their hair. Yeah. It's just we're not doing this and anymore. It's and it's fabulous. And, it, and it's strange just, because viewers were standing by her. Yes. So clearly yeah. they, they, they weren't looking at I'm sure we'll hear wanted. more yeah. on that we one. We'll follow it for you. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.